it's Becky and today I'm doing a book haul. Last month was actually a really good book month for me in the fact that I only bought one book and then my friends gifted me a lot of other books. Um, I got very lucky this month in the fact that my lots of my friends were giving away their books and I have acquired them. Big thank you to all my friends who are lovely enough to send me them and I've only managed to buy one book this month which means my bank is praising me for a little bit of self-control. So I'm going to start with the first book I got which was Burnt by Patrick Ness. This is the one that I bought because I just really wanted to read it straight away. I was going to buy it anyway at some point. I've actually already read this and I think the review is going to be up at some point soon but I really love this book. It's about dragons. There's kind of a cult in this book about how dragons are the higher beings and then there's lots of little things that I don't really want to spoil it. I think this is a book that you you definitely should go in a little bit blind. It works better that way. The next book I got was Mayday by Josie Jaffrey. This is another vampire book from her. That's kind of her way of writing, I guess. And she very kindly sent me this in return for a review, so you'll definitely be seeing more about this soon. I've read some of her other books and I've always loved her writing. And this book is not set in the same world as her other series. It's actually set in England and it's an urban fantasy, so I'm excited to see how it works and whether her writing style changes. Next book I got was We Ride the Storm by Devin Madsen. This book actually came out this week and she has, she originally self-published this book and I found her through these SPFBO and she's now published it through Orbit and I'm really excited to see if it's any good. I've already started reading it as you can see from my first impressions and I'm kind of curious as to whether this is different to the self-published version she did a few years ago. It's got three points of view, it's a high fantasy book and there's kind of lots of political war and tension in this book. The next book I got was Circe by Madeline Miller. I don't think I need to introduce this to you guys. I, a lot of people I know have talked about this on their channels and I definitely was mostly intrigued because other people were talking so highly about it. It's based off Greek myth and Again, I'm definitely going into this book a bit blind, but I'm really excited to get to it. Another book I got is The Bearing Nightingale by Catherine Arden. Again, this is a book that I've heard so much about, I've just never gotten around to reading it, but now I have my own copy, and it is really a beautiful copy as well. This book is kind of a retelling of Russian fairy tales, I believe, and I'm hoping there's lots of kind of fairy tale-esque stylings in here and I'm hoping that there's lots of kind of Russian folklore and myths uh, similar to other books that I've read and um, that are recognisable to me although I don't think I've ever read a Russian fairy tale myself. The next book I got was The Dragon's Legacy by Deborah A. Wolf and I am trying to think of what book I've read by her before and I can't quite put my finger on it but I mainly wanted this book because it has dragons on it. I don't know if there's gonna be a lot of dragons actually in the book. I've kind of read the blurb and from the sounds of it there's a dragon that's in slumber and there's gonna be a fight to whether we're gonna keep it in slumber or we're going to wake it up in order to help the world. I also got The Blood of Elves which is the first book in the Witcher series. I've wanted to read this book for a while now. I actually asked my friends not that long ago what they thought of it, if they'd read it, and I was very kindly sent this by Nikki about a week after I said this, so I'm really thankful for that. I'm excited to read it, I really enjoyed the TV series, I really enjoyed the video game, so I know the TV series was based very much on the books rather than the video game, so I'm excited to read more and to see if there's any information that might be in the next season. The next book I got was Suicide Club and this was just an intriguing concept for me in that the everyone can have the ability to live forever if they follow the rules. However, I assume people are getting sick of living forever, which is why there is a suicide club. I'm not fully sure further than that outside of my assumptions from what's going to happen but apparently it really does make you think so I'm excited to read it. Another book I got was Dangerous Remedy by Kat Dunn. This is another book that I've heard lots of good things about and it's kind of got the fantasy elements that I enjoy. So it's kind of got a mix of characters all in kind of a group which I always love in fantasy books to see lots of different characters. Group often saves people from the guillotine but they accidentally save a girl with magic powers and now everyone is on the hunt for them. I don't know much apart from that but I'm really excited to see the group of characters and see the magic powers. Also acquired Infinity Sun by Adam Silvera. This is a book that I've obviously heard a lot about as he is on here himself. I've heard mixed reviews of this book so I'm excited to see 
where this goes. I know he mainly writes contemporary and this was his first foray into fantasy and as someone who doesn't really read a lot of contemporary and then reads a lot of fantasy I'm excited to see how he's shifted and whether it's any good as a fantasy. Next I got a entire series of books. It is The Windsinger, Slaves of the Mastery and Fire Song all by William Nicholson. These are older books as you can see by the first book in the series my friend definitely loved and read it. That's the main reason why I picked them out of her getting rid pile purely because she said she enjoyed them and she read them a few years ago and I'm excited to see what it is. I am a big lover of picking up like an entire fantasy series and reading them back to back and just falling in love with the characters in the world. So I'm really hoping that happens with this one. If anyone's read these though, please do let me know what you think as well. Another book I definitely picked out of her pile because I've heard people talking about it. I've heard mixed reviews and I was really excited to read more about it. A Spell Hacker by MK England is a YA fantasy and it's being compared to Mary Lou and Amy Kaufman. So I am intrigued to see what it's going to be like. But yeah, it involves kind of a magical heist as magic is now a commodity in this country or place. Magic is like a low resource in this world and so our main characters pull magical heists in order to get more magic in order to sell on, which is highly illegal. And I'm kind of excited to see how this plays out and what actually happens. Another book I got was The Price Guide to the Occult by Leslie Walton. I definitely chose this one for the cover because it's so pretty and two because it's so short. I really like picking up short books because I do read quite slowly and whilst I love high fantasy and I love my kind of big bulky book, some days I just want to read a fantasy that's a bit shorter which is what I think this is going to be. So yeah it's only 277 pages and I think I'd get through this in like a day if I wanted to. Another book that I got that I definitely got from the hype that other people are talking about was The Wrath and the Dawn. I've been waiting to read this for a while now. I actually put on these covers onto my wish list not that long ago and my friend was giving this one away. So I jumped at the chance to get my hands on this one and uh, this is what I was going to buy anyway. So in this world the king has a new bride every night and they kill them in the morning. I'm intrigued because I have no idea why they would do this but our main character is going to uh, accept the proposal to be married and then she's going to somehow survive the night. I really do not know what's going to happen in this book, I've just heard really good things about how good it is. Another book I picked up from the pile was These Witches Don't Burn by Isabel Sterling. I actually picked this up because I know I bought this for Lauren and it was on her wish list a while ago now and I was really intrigued when I bought it as to whether I would like it and I didn't have enough money at the time to buy myself a copy at the same time. So I'm very glad that my friend was giving this away and I will be reading this soon to find out what the hype is about. And then the next book I got was Wicked As You Wish by Rin Chapeco. I've already read this book and I love this book and I love Rin herself. So I just wanted a copy for my shelf because I'd read an e -arc version. But yeah, this book is kind of a fairy tale retelling where there is a earth that also has a fairy tale country that is wrapped in an ice kingdom and then our main character is friends with the prince of that kingdom and then they have to go and try and unlock this kingdom from the ice and to avoid the ice queen at the same time. The next book I got was The Guinevere Deception and again this is a book that I've heard a lot about which is why I wanted to read it. I'm, you, you can tell that I'm very shallow with the books I read because I like knowing if they're going to be good before jumping into them. A key thing about this book is that it's a King Arthur retelling and I don't believe I've really read many of those if any of those in, in memory at least. I think the closest thing to a retelling I've read is watching Merlin on TV and so I'm excited to read this and it's something a little bit different to what I'd normally read and I just really enjoy the character of Guinevere from the blurb she sounds like a really strong character she's got lots of secrets and there's lots of things that I really want to find out about this book. Another book that I got was Hideous Beauty by William Hussey and I know why I picked this up. I picked this up for completely superficial reasons. It reminded me of Christine Herman's books and I just really enjoyed the cover and this is meant to be a YA thriller if I'm correct. And yeah, it just sounds like something that I haven't really read before and I haven't really got on my shelves currently and I was just really excited to read it. But another book I got was Girls with Sharp Sticks. I picked this one because one, I was intrigued by the cover about what all this was and then once I read the blurb, it's kind of about women in this place have been trained to be compliant and to be women. 
Women in this world have been trained to be compliant and to keep their mouth closed and to do what they're told. And this book is going to, hopefully, from what the blurb tells me, is going to have a main character that doesn't want to do any of that and throws everything in the air and changes everything. And I'm really excited to read that because I feel like that should be done more by women in the real world anyway, especially when we're told to be quiet. And the final book I picked up was Descendant of the Crane, which is a book that I've been looking forward to reading for a while now. And I'm really excited that I managed to get a copy um, to read. So this is a book where the kind of queen is forced into being a queen because her father has died. But actually her father may have been murdered and there's kind of a mystery to unravel as to who murdered her father, whether it was someone in the court or someone from a neighbouring country. And I'm hoping there's going to be lots of kind of political tension in this book in the court and I'm excited to read it. So yeah, I cannot pick all these books up, there's way too many so I'm not going to even try and then drop them all on camera. But I'm really excited to have shown these all to you and I'm really hoping I get through to a lot of them sometime soon, especially since I've gotten so many from Moon who plus her, I think got, gave me the majority of these books. But yeah, thank you for watching and if you've read any of these books and you want to tell me your opinions, but no spoilers, but please do comment below and let me know what you thought of them. Thanks for watching, I hope to see you again soon.